Hey everybody, it's me. I'm doing my 22 week video. I think the last video I made may have been 19 weeks, I think, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, I passed the 20 week, 20 week mark, which was like halfway, so yay for that. And I'm 22 weeks pregnant today. So much has been going on. It's been crazy. If you can tell, I'm sick, so I sound weird, but I just, there's just been a lot going on in the past few weeks, which is why I haven't made a video. One, my husband's been gone, um, and so it, it's just been me and the kids, you know, still working full time, still running around, like, with trying to have someone to watch them. Um, it's just been really crazy. And then, after right after he left, we came down with this really bad stomach virus, and it was crazy. Like, it was like hit Romero one night by the morning or by the next day and afternoon it was Milani and then by that night it was me and I'm talking about throwing up like all the bad like tummy issues so that happened and then oh god it's just been crazy and now I'm sick again and my husband's gone again because he came back for a week and then he left again anyway so this is going to be my 22 week video I don't have any notes I just decided I'm going to just do it do it and get it done right right okay so 22 weeks I'm really excited to be 22 weeks I feel kind of like that's pretty far even though it's not really that far because I feel like I'm like further along I think it's because the time is just flying by so fast that and then like the past few weeks went by so fast that the rest of my pregnancy is gonna go by fast and I'm gonna be due before I know it so I guess that's probably why I feel like Ooh, someone's out there. Sorry. I guess that's probably why I feel like I'm further along. Um, I've definitely grown, feeling uncomfortable, have a lot of symptoms, new symptoms, um, short of breath, feeling not nauseous anymore, which is really good, um, but I'm still tired, but not as tired. I'm just contradicting myself. I'm sorry. Not as tired, but still tired. Um, what else? Heartburn here and there. Can't get comfortable at night sometimes. I Now I really can't sleep on my back or my stomach. So like sometimes my hips start aching, like from just switching back and forth from each hip. Um, what else? I can't think of, I, just, I should have made notes. Dang it. Oh, well. There's a lot of stuff that's just been changing and happening. Um, oh, headaches. Really, really bad headaches. So, basically, I think I'm just going to talk about my last doctor's appointment because I think that's the most important thing probably that's really been going on. Um, if you watch the video I, I made before about why I hated my ultrasound and what happened at my ultrasound, you will know, um, one, that my ultrasound experience sucked. Two, I had an anterior placenta. And three, at my doctor's appointment after that, I had high blood pressure. Uh, my blood pressure came back high. And I thought it was due to uh, me being nervous because I thought something was going to be wrong with my ultrasound results. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and so, basically... I went to this doctor's appointment yesterday, um, which I really didn't even want to go to. I was going to pass on it because I just been, it's been so crazy for me. I've been really stressed out, really tired, just doing so much. And with my job being as stressful as it is, I just was like not wanting to go. But I told myself, well, I'm just going to go. I don't feel like rescheduling. So I did go yesterday and I'm glad I did because I went in, everything was normal. <clears throat> you know, they weigh me, I sit down, she takes my blood pressure and it was high. Mind you, I've never in my life had a high blood pressure. Not when I was pregnant, not when I was not pregnant. I've never had a blood pressure issue. I thought that last time it was due to me being nervous about my ultrasound results. And um, I figured, you know, it was just like a one-time thing. So she came in, it was high again. My doctor comes in and she's like, mm, what's wrong with your blood pressure? Like, I don't like that. Two appointments in a row, you have high blood pressure. That's not good. And I'm like, you know, I told her what I was thinking why what had happened last time and she basically um you know said that the she's concerned that it would happen at two appointments in a row you know that's a month in between each appointment I was like well I've been under a lot of stress recently I have my kids obviously two little kids by myself when my husband's gone working like it's just is there's been a lot going on and she said that well she was just concerned because of um the the indication of or oh my god I cannot think. High blood pressure can be an indication of, of course, everyone knows, preeclampsia. And I'm like, okay, but 
preeclampsia doesn't that come like way later in pregnancy if it does come up at all like this is really early I'm, I was only about to be 22 weeks yesterday and she said you know it can happen um she was like it's the same dad right and I'm like yeah same father all my kids so nothing new I've never had any blood pressure issues before and so she basically just told me that she's just a little concerned because that's it shouldn't be high when you're pregnant your your blood pressure should actually be on the lower end instead of high so um she asked me if i've been having really bad headaches which i have which i also thought was just due to stress and then you know just asked me have i been kind of like out of it lately and i'm like i mean i guess i thought that was just part of like being pregnant and having to deal with all the stuff i'm dealing with so she told me that she wanted me to do to pee in a cup um, for them to te test something and then to have blood work done. So I'm just like sitting here like, oh, my God, it's just always one thing after another, you know. And so I talked to her about my ultrasound and explained to her like my concerns and frustrations with it. She did again, like reaffirm with me that everything on my on my ultrasound came back good. So there's no concern there. It's just now I have high blood pressure. So I don't know, you guys. I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Um, you know, I think it's honestly due to the fact that uh, due to my job and the fact that I have two small children I'm taking care of. And then when my husband's gone, it's by myself. So I, I think that's what it is. She did call later just to tell me that my blood work and my my blood work and my pee tests came out OK. But she wants to see me in two weeks instead of four. So I don't know. I don't know what this means and I mean I can't imagine it's freaking preeclampsia because that would be crazy and that's really scary and I know with women who do develop preeclampsia normally they like are induced right like they want to get the baby out sooner rather than later and here I am at 22 weeks like obviously that's not an option for me so if you guys just keep me in your prayers and just I'm sure everything will be okay but it's just been kind of stressful and crazy. Milani's um, third birthday is on February 26th and we're having her birthday party on the 3rd. Her dad will be gone so that's kind of I said on the 3rd on the 23rd. Her dad's not going to be here so he's going to miss it but he comes back the day after her birthday and um, we're actually taking them to Disneyland. I'm so excited! So we're going to go to Disneyland for her birthday and go have fun so at least I have that to look forward to I'm really like wanting to get moving on like all the baby planning stuff but we're just so in limbo about certain things because of like my job whether I should stay or whether I should quit um where we're gonna live if I did because I do live at the same property that I work at so and there's just so many different things child care costs are so high that I don't you know if we were paying out of pocket for both the kids to go to daycare like it would almost just be better for me to stay home with them and then I don't even have to deal with all the stresses at work so anyways I just have had so much going on so much on my mind so much stressing me out and I just want our baby to come already now I just want this baby to come and like get it cracking so I don't even know what else to talk about I have so much stuff that I could talk about but now I don't know what to talk about <sighs> Um, so yeah, that's kind of like a quick update of what's been going on the past couple of weeks. Um, other than that, everything has been pretty good. Um, just really excited about Milani's birthday and going to Disneyland, of course. Oh my god. And yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I mentioned in my last video that I have been craving Butterfingers. Uh, no longer. I will never eat a Butterfinger again because when I was sick, when we got really sick, that Butterfinger was not then coming up. So, I don't like Butterfingers anymore, but I still love cereal, chocolate milkshakes. <sighs> I was really craving blueberry pancakes, but then they did really hit the spot like I wanted them to, so I probably won't have those again. That's about it. I don't know. It's just been crazy. And then, oh, I forgot about this my phone broke <laughs> so my new phone that I just got a couple months ago had broke first the screen was already cracked but then it like broke broke so I had to wait to get a new one which is another reason why I hadn't made a video last video I did I did use my camera and shortly after um doing that video Milani broke that camera so I couldn't even use that anymore so it's just been one thing after the other 
I tell you. But I'm going to end this video now. I'm going to keep it under 10 minutes for like the first time. And I'll insert a picture of the belly since I'm not going to do a clear belly shot this time. But I'm getting big and I'm feeling huge. I will see you guys in my next video. Ta-ta!